Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we're having problems deleting a user. So if I click delete, nothing happens. So let's see what's going on here. So back to the delete user controller and let's see. So the problem is that I have a not there, which is the thing. It's telling me that um, if I am not an admin, then I can delete, which is the opposite of what this should be. So let me just use this instead. Yeah. All I needed to do was remove the exclamation point, but let me just make things uniform like this. Okay. And uh, that should solve the problem. So delete and unclosed. So we have an error instead. And that's because I have this bracket and that one as well. So let me remove that. Let's go back. Okay, so that one was deleted. And let me try and delete this one and click delete. And there we go. Okay, so things are working as intended. And now if I try to add a new user, something had happened before. Um, some user and mail at mail.com. Let's add a password. So I ended up having uh, two users here. So let me click two there and create. So there's an error here, but I just want to make sure that it didn't create a user with that error there. So click, so it didn't. Okay, so that's good. Now let me remove to solve that error and hit create. Okay. So things seem to be fine. So I don't know what really happened previously. Okay. All right. So it seems we are in business here. And um, now let's prevent this admin from being deletable. So if I click on delete, so instead of saying, are you sure you want to delete this user? I should just say, uh, uh, this one is undeletable. So how do we make sure it's undeletable? We'll put this in the if statement. So if auth access and, okay, so we have an ID. ID is not equal to, so not equal to one, then we can go ahead with this. But if ID is one, so if I try to delete, it will just refresh like this. But instead of refreshing, uh, it should be, it should just give us an, uh, a message and say, you cannot delete this user. So what we'll do is let's go to the delete user section. And this part says, if array row, right? And we have an else statement here. Hmm. Maybe we can simply say that user was not found, right? It's up to you. Um, you can put another if statement in here or another if statement there, maybe nest them. So what I would do is I'll say, and ID is not equal to one. Okay. So in this case, because this is ID one, it should say uh, user not found. So let me go back, console. If I try to delete, it says that user was not found. But what you can say is you can put another if statement in here to show a different message. So for example, here I can duplicate this and put an if statement and say if ID is equal to one, sorry. Close that, boom, okay. Now, instead of relying on ID is equal to one, let's say maybe you have several admins that you don't want to be deleted. Uh, those should not be deletable. What you can do is in the users table, you can add another column that says deletable, and then the default value should be one so that every uh, user that you add is deletable. But then with the admin, the main admin, you can put zero and say this one is not deletable. 
okay so that could be one way of doing things so let, let me try and show you that right now so if we go to st structure here uh, because the problem is what we are doing right now is just limits it to id number one so you you might find that in future you change the main admin to one that has a different id and then this won't work anymore so what you would do instead is let's just add one more column and let's call it deletable deletable and this one is tiny int because it's just one integer that we want so length one tiny int can have more than one but uh, if you want you don't know how much it can store you can just hover and it will show you here 128 car uh, number minus 128 to positive 128 but we just want one and zero so we'll use it the default value as defined will be one and let's save so one means yes zero means no of course so let's go to browse and there we are deletable now then we get the chance to select which ones of these can be deletable this one is not deletable so let's put a zero on it so you can put this as part of the interface if you want but and then there's a security risk so it's better it's just you just set it directly in the database like this so that no one can edit that okay so console let's come back here now instead of the one we can use deletable so here i would say if is array raw uh -huh. and id is equal to right mm. so what i'll do is i'll copy this and instead i'll say if is array row which means it is an array i'll say and row uh deletable like this so end row deletable so if it's deletable then it's going to work because I just need to put that there. I don't need to say is equal to zero or equal to one because automatically, if it's zero, this will return false. But if it's any number apart from zero, we need to return true. So it's going to work just fine. So I can copy this again and put it as the if statement right here and do this. If is array row, because we don't know, it could not be, maybe it's possible that we just didn't find the row. So we still need to check if it's an array and then say, and not deletable, right? Then we will have uh, this here. Wait a second. Let's put an end if there. Let's move these two inward. Push that and put one, but let's change this to an else sorry else full colon all right then let's move this down so if it's not deletable you can say that user cannot be deleted okay great otherwise we say user not found okay mm. yeah great i think that works just fine Okay, so we can test this. Now, before we even do that, let me copy this, uh, copy. And let's go to the edit, wait, delete user right here. And uh, let's see, delete ID. Okay, we have a row here. So I need only to delete if we have found something. But before we do that, let me paste this and say if access admin and row deletable then let's delete but we need also to have row active so i'm just going to say if row turned up something and so if row is there and authentication is true and this row is deletable let me just be explicit and say is array 
like that. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, so let's come back here and see if things are working as planned. So let me try and delete this one and say that user cannot be deleted. Okay, that's good. Uh, if I go to Mary, uh, this user is deletable. Same thing here, delete, this user is deletable. If I add a, a number that doesn't exist, oh wait, uh, let me put numbers there. What's going on here? Oh, there we go, that user was not found, so it's good. Okay, the reason why the ID uh, doesn't show a problem when I put a letter is because it trims it to the number only. Now, let's see if we, we don't want Mary to be deletable as well. So we can simply go to our table in here and put a zero there. Now, like I said, instead of doing this in the, uh, what's this? In the section here, you can have it on the interface where when you edit, you can have deletable, yes or no, and you can add it that way if you want. So now if I try to delete Mary to say that user cannot be deleted, just like the admin cannot be deleted, but this one will be. So that's how you can ensure to be able to select specific uh, rows that you want deletable or not. Okay, so we are able to edit a user, delete a user, that's good. Uh, here we are able to edit, delete and add, that's good. So now let's concentrate on the cells because this is the part that really is left per se. All right, I'll see you in the next video.